So what I would like to do in this video is graph the inequality negative 14x minus 7y is less than four. And like always, I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can graph it on your own before we work through it together. So the way that I like to do this is I like to isolate a y on one side of this inequality and I'll do it on, to the, on the left hand side. So the first thing I want to do is let's get rid of this negative 14x here on the left. So the best way to do that is to add 14x. But if I, need to do, if I do that to the left hand side, I also want to do that on the right hand side as well. So I'm adding 14x to both sides. And that leaves me with these two cancel out. On the left hand side, I have negative 7y. And that's going to be less than, I have 14x plus four, or four plus 14x. 14x plus four. And now, I want to divide both sides by negative seven in order to isolate this y. But we have to be very, very, very careful. When you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you need to swap this, you need to swap the inequality sign. Instead of it being less than, it would have to become greater than. So if you divide both sides by negative seven, you are going to be left with y is greater than, let me do this in a different color just to highlight that I'm swapping this around. Y is gonna be greater than 14 divided by negative seven is negative two x. And then four divided by negative seven, well that's negative four sevenths. And now I'm ready to graph this. And the way that I would graph this, I would graph y is equal to negative 2x minus 4 sevenths. But since we're not greater than or equal to it, I would put a dotted line there and just shade everything above that. But let me just do what I'm talking about. So let me draw some axes here. So and this is gonna be an approximation. Obviously this is a hand drawn graph that we're dealing with. So just like that, that's my x axis. And let's see, our y-intercept is negative 4 sevenths, which is a little bit more than a half. So let's say that this right over here is, let's say this right over here is one, or negative one, I should say. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to put my axis a little bit higher. So let's do it like this. So that is x. Let's make this negative one. And then that's about negative two. And so this would be one. And then this is going to be right about, this is about one, and then we have two right over there. So we look at our y-intercept when x is, so let's first just think about what would we have if we're thinking about y is equal to negative two x minus four sevenths. Well, our y-intercept right over here would be negative four sevenths which is a little bit more than a half, so it'll be roughly right around there. And then we have a slope of negative two. We have a slope of negative two. So if you increase by one, you are going to decrease by two. So you're gonna decrease, you're not gonna just go there, you're gonna go right around there. So you're gonna go right around there. And let me get my ruler tool out so I can actually draw that. So I'll connect these two dots with my ruler tool. Now remember, I'm not just trying to graph y equals, and in fact, this isn't greater than or equal, it's just strictly greater than. So let me draw a dotted line there to show that I'm actually not going to include the graph where y equals negative two x minus four sevenths. So let me do that dotted line. A dotted line right over there, show that I'm not it's not going to be equal to that. It's all the y's for any x that are greater than that. My spacing is getting a little sloppy. So that does the job. There you go. So th that would be the line y is equal to negative two x minus four sevenths. But I dotted lined it because this isn't greater than or equal to. If it was greater than or equal to, I would fill it in. But it's greater than to show that we don't include the line, but we want all of the region, all of the area above the line. So let me shade that in. So that's gonna be all of this. Actually, I can shade it in with a nice, big, juicy shading. Get the right tool out. All right, here we go. So it would be all of this area 
right over here would be what I would actually shade in. So once again, I don't include the line. I include everything above the line. And I am done.